What's up guys, welcome back to Hamilton's Hangar. I'm Che, we got Ashley on the camera, Dynamic Duo back again with another video, guys. If this is your first time here, please consider smashing that subscribe button, and everybody please smash that thumbs up if you like this video and like the content that you guys see. We finally have our 93 millimeter HST motor that's gonna go in our 90 millimeter Raptor. This is the fastest 90 millimeter EDF that's in the world right now and on the market um, for electric side. And yeah, we're looking at anywhere between 93 and 111 meters per second. Um, this thing's putting out 17 pounds of thrust on 12S, which is what we're gonna be powering it on. So right before we bust this open here, I'm super, super excited about this. Um, we're gonna check out what we're using for our power system. So right here we have our smooth flight, which is what we're gonna be using to power this up with dual redundancy with two batteries there. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. This is our programming screen, which we, you know, have the option to have in the jet or not have in the jet. So depending on how things go, you know, we'll see about that. But this is our Castle 12S uh, BEC, and this is our Castle 12S 160 amp high voltage ESC to handle this Schubler. We also have two um, three channel jetty switches, and um, these are going to be running off, it's going to be running off X bus. So we're going to be able to just use one, you know, one cord from our smooth flight to our jetty system to be able to get all of our, um, you know, movements rather than have, you know, a million wires going to the power system and, and then to the receiver. Mm. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about that. Um, everything's starting to come together pretty well. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and bust this thing open here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is an all carbon fiber EDF. We've been like, you know, talking about this thing for like quite some time, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> So the reason that I went with 160 amp ESC here is because this thing's putting out about 143 amps. Um, 143 amps, yeah. So this is, gives us plenty of room here. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of people go the YEG route on this, but we decided that we're not going to. So. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So I did order the uh, intake, the intake ring, you know, for like future use, just in, just as like you know. So I have it, you know what I mean? Okay. Because you gotta buy it um, when you buy the thing. So yeah, that's all I got from there was just this. So I got everything else that I need. So really, wow. Okay, really nice. Came in there in this super yeah. nice. Like wow. Came all the way from Germany, guys, directly from Schubler. Okay. Uh, there is no, there is no uh, affiliations right now with anybody at all. So. Uh, yeah, we buy everything that you guys see. So, uh, yeah, our KM models afterburners uh, get sent to us. So, but we're not gonna be able to use one on this because it has a fully integrated motor on here. Mm, so. Okay. All right, you ready? Yep. Let's come on over here, reel her out, come okay. get nice and close. <laughs> All right, big reveal. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, holy smokes. Oh, that's nice. Uh, wow. Wow. Is that carbon fiber? Oh, yeah, I said that. All carbon fiber. Oh, bit, yes, you, you know, did. Okay. All carbon fiber looks here. Looks really good. You know, aluminum around the edge there. Wow. Yeah. Holy smokes. It looks really good. Wow. I'm just, like, you know, blown away by this right now. Like, look at the, the rotors on there. Like, wow. She's a beaut. Wow. Okay. So yeah, I absolutely cannot wait to get this thing plugged in. Um, I think inside that box, I think I got these little plugs in there. Uh, the other ones, I think they came with it stock. But I'll dump that out in a few and check that out. But overall, yeah, this is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, uh, Did you this, say how much power? Or did I miss that? Yeah, we're putting out 17 pounds of thrust on okay. this thing. That, okay. So on 12S, Dang. you know. So we're planning on flying this with like, you know, two 6s 5000s some high voltage ones from smc so we're going to get this on the test bench here for on um, the next couple days few days here for you guys and um get it going so one thing that i do want to let you guys know probably towards the end of the week because we're going to get uh, waiting on our mui sensor to get here um one extra thing that i had to order which gives us telemetry to our jetty uh which gives us like the capacity the milliamps um you know what i mean and voltage things like that um, we do get a little bit of telemetry from this for our batteries 
but mm. um, overall, you know, we won't get that same telemetry and the device is only like, you know, 35 bucks. For those of you guys that haven't seen our last video on our Schubler EDF that we posted of the HDS one, that was putting out nearly 12 pounds of thrust. We put it in the Raptor last time. That thing flew absolutely crazy. So um, yeah, I'm really, really excited about it. Like I said, this is like the best 90 millimeter motor that you can buy in the world right now. I'm really excited to get this out here and just test out their top overall 90 millimeter product. Um, yeah, if those of you guys that haven't had a Schubler, you know what I mean, they're like, you know, they're up there for a reason. So because they spend time and do a lot of effort to make a product that is as beautiful as this. Like, you know what I mean? This is absolutely just a gorgeous product overall. And <laughs> I'm just like completely blown away by the overall skill and engineering that went into this product. So because it's different to see something like this online, you know what I mean? But then to actually like, you know, see it and then see what it looks like and then see everything that they are doing to it to make it actually perform what they're saying it will perform. Yeah, that's so, a good point. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, with the turbines and things like that, it's kind of like a more general thing, you know, it's just a, a smaller version of a larger scale. With this EDF, like, you know, it's completely different, you know, because it is a fan module, but you know, they're changing over time as you guys have noticed. So for now, this one's the top, but you know, if there ever is another 90 millimeter one, we'll probably end up snagging that too. So make sure you guys please smash that thumbs up and stick around because we're gonna be posting this thing here soon. We're gonna unleash the beast and test this thing out on the bench. Hopefully the bench stays put, so we'll make sure we have precautions in place. All right? Oh my gosh. So, Chain Ashley with Hamilton's Hangar, dynamic duo back game with another video, guys. I'm super, 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 super stoked about this right now. So I've only been like talking about opening it since yesterday and uh, it was stuck up in customs for a little bit. You know, you never know when something's like that's gonna get here. I woke up in the morning and it was like, oh, it's out for delivery. I'm like, yeah, let's go, let's go. Oh boy. So anyways, yeah, so you know. They all uh, understand. Yeah, yep. <laughs> they get it. That's right, that's right. Anyways, guys, so one last look at this babe real quick before we take off. Yeah. Absolutely amazing here. So, I mean, just wow. It's really good. So yeah, this has got the 1050 motor in here. 1050, there's two options on there. So we went with the higher one, okay. uh, which gives out the more, um, you know, more thrust. So yeah, all right, with that being said, we're gonna get out of here. Just, you know, get out the rest of our day. So smash that thumbs up, subscribe. We'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Peace.